And in the next examples, we are asked to evaluate each polynomial if x equals 3. So all that we're going to do here then is we're going to plug in x equals negative 3 wherever we have an x. So I always like to tell students that remember that when you're asked to evaluate, remember to plug in. So I draw this little picture of a plug, a cord. So next time you do an example like this, you'll remember that strategy. Whenever they ask you to evaluate, they simply mean to plug in. So in this example, instead of x, we will write a negative 3 in parentheses. And then we're going to evaluate. Remember to follow the order of operations. We have multiplication, so negative 4 times negative 3 is positive 12. And then we have 12 minus 7, which in this case equals 5. So we obtain 5 as our answer for the first expression. In this second example, we will write negative 5, and then in parentheses, a negative 3 to the second power plus 7 times negative 3 plus 20. So again, recall that we need to apply the order of operations. So the first thing we run into are exponents here. So then we have negative 5 times a negative 3 squared happens to be a positive 9 plus 7 times negative 3 plus 20. Now we concentrate on multiplication and the order it appears from left to right. Negative 5 times 9 is negative 45 plus 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 plus 20, bringing the 20 down. So now what we will do is add from left to right. Negative 45 plus a negative 21 is a negative 66 plus 20. So our final result here is negative 46 when we take negative 66 plus 20. On our third example, again recall that we're substituting for x a value of negative 3. And we'll just write it like that. Okay, next we work on exponents. So we have negative 3 squared, which in this case is 9. We notice here we have the additive inverse. So we change that to plus 3. And then plus 1. 9 plus 3 is 12. And then plus 1. So 12 plus 1 is 13. <clears throat> on our last example, again, we will replace x with a negative 3. So we'll plug that in. Again, we'll work on exponents. So negative 3 squared happens to be a positive 9. And then we notice this negative sitting on the outside. So when you distribute that in, you get negative 9 plus 1. And we know negative 9 plus 1 is a negative 8. So our last example evaluates to negative 8. <clears throat>